Welcome once more, great people of Biafra, lovers of freedom. The Zulu government have come out to state categorically clear that there is ongoing pipeline vandalism. I'm going to explain all this to you, but let us hear what this zoo has to say. They say there's pipeline vandalism and that the federal government may transport crude oil via trucks. They have confessed that there is pipeline vandalism and then that the federal government may begin to transport crude oil via trucks. Now, one thing I want us to understand is that it's been a long time coming. We have been talking, we have been making videos on how the Biafra resistance fighters, the Biafra Navy have been decimating most of these pipelines emanating from our region because the crude oil is coming from our region. And then these people use the money gotten from the sales of crude oil to buy arms and ammunition to come and fight against our own people who are giving them this um, source of livelihood. And so we say enough is enough. No more using of our own resources, our own God-given resources to fight against us. And so that led to the Piafra cabinet um, deciding that there would be cessation or stop of exploitation of crude oil in the Piafra territory. And that led to decimation of many pipes, many delivery pipelines. Many delivery pipelines were decimated. And so we talked about the release of Mazenam de Kano being one reason that may stop this decimation of oil, crude oil pipelines. And the request was release Mazenam de Kano and um, set out a date for the referendum for Biafra. But these people did not say anything. In all the videos, all the information, all the news going around that the Prime Minister and so many of us members of the media pastels uh, have come out to make these uh, posts go viral. Yet they do not want to do what? They do not want to accept the fact that um, the Piafra Liberation Army, the Piafra Navy, Piafra Resistance Fighters have, you know, decimated many of their um, delivery uh, pipelines, crude oil delivery pipelines. They do not want to accept that. They did not bring that to their news. They restricted their mainstream media from carrying this news. Do you understand? I want you to understand certain things. They restricted their mainstream media from carrying this news, from propagating this news. All the pipelines that have been decimated, they did not report anyone. They did not report anyone. Now, they want to now indirectly tell you that there is pipeline vandalism. They now want to indirectly tell you that they are now going to resort into carrying of this crude oil through trucks. Through trucks. Why are they running away from telling you that the Biafran Navy or the Biafran resistance fighters or the Biafran Liberation Army, uh, you know, decimated some of their pipelines? Why? They don't want to give credence to anything Biafra. So they are fighting tirelessly to bring down anything that has to do with Biafra. But then, any reasonable person will want to ask this question. The question is this. You are just coming out to claim that there is pipeline vandalism. You are just coming out to claim that there is pipeline vandalism. I think the last time they talked about pipeline vandalism was 
close to two or three years ago. So, what led to this new direction or these new directives coming from the federal government that they will now be conveying crude oil through trucks? What happened? Why have they not been reporting the cases of pipeline vandalism um, to this point? where they now had to take a decision, a drastic decision that they may now begin to carry oil through trucks and not uh, channeling it through the pipelines again. Why? Why haven't they been reporting this news that there has been pipeline vandalism, the, the pipeline was vandalized, and so so area it was vandalized. Why have they not reported it? And so they are now reporting the conclusion that they are going to now begin to move this oil through trucks that is when it is right for them to tell you what is happening so they hid the information from you that they have been vandalizing that some persons have been vandalizing the pipelines they hid the information from you for all this while and you think it's the right thing you think something is not fishy you think something is not fishy you see, why would tell you that this country is full of li- lies, lies and deceit? This country is full of lies and deceit. They cannot tell their citizens the truth. They cannot come out openly to tell their citizens the truth for once. Every little opportunity, they lie. They lie. The Biafra Navy. The Biafra F- uh, Liberation Army, the Biafra Resistance Fighters, have been decimating this oil pipeline, and we have been posting it. Even the videos and pictures, we have been posting it. What stopped the media, the mainstream media, from posting it? What stopped them from posting it all this while? And now, all of a sudden, they came out to tell you that people have been vandalizing the oil. But who are those people vandalizing the oil pipeline? Who are those people vandalizing the oil pipeline? They don't want to mention Biafra Army because they know if they mention Biafra Army, people will begin to query them. Oh, so there is something like Biafra Army. They know the reason why they are hiding. Each time they want to make a broadcast, they will say it is ESN, IPOB. All those things have been, you know, disbanded. What we have now is the Biafra, I mean Biafra Liberation, I mean Biafra Navy, Biafra Air Force, Biafra Resistance Fighters. These are the people protecting the people of Biafra and pushing for the restoration of the sovereign states of Biafra, the United States of Biafra. So why are they not telling you the truth? because they do not want you to hear and know the truth but that is why we are here because we will always bring you that information so they have covered all the efforts of the Biafra liberation i mean all this while that these pipelines have been you know when we post this information some people will come out and say it is lies some people will come out and say uh, it is propaganda you know all manner of nonsense they continue to push to the media it is lies it is propaganda but today they are confirming all that we have said though they are indirectly trying to confirm it they don't want to confirm it straightforwardly they don't want to come out plain and say this is what it is but they are indirectly confirming it because if you ask them why have you not been posting about those pipeline that has been vandalized before you come to the conclusion that you are not going to be using trucks but we are going to tell them one thing just as the prime minister has said these trucks using trucks to carry crude oil eh, is even the sweetest part because the decimation the water water is going to be on a different level the water water is going to be on a different level no truck will be allowed to carry crude oil out of Biafra territory. No truck will be allowed to carry crude oil out of 
Biafra territory, except for those who have come to terms with the Biafra government in exile. Outside that, no truck will be allowed to carry crude oil outside the Biafra territory. These people must understand that we are ready, we are determined to liberate ourselves. And we will not allow them to continue to use our resources, our God-given resources, to fight against us. It is not possible. So, our people of Biafra, we have just come to tell you that the zoo has been exposed again. The truth that they have tried so much to stop, it is out in the public again. They indirectly put out the news, but we are here to expose them. We will continue to expose these people until they release Martin and the Kano and until they grant uh, a day for referendum. But if they don't, we are going to declare, redeclare the United States of Biafra and defend it. That is where we are going to. And after the declaration of the United States of Biafra, they are going to see the wonders that the Biafra Army, the Biafra Navy, the Biafra Air Force, and the Biafra Resistance Fighters will do to them. The time is ticking, and we are getting ready for them. Thank you, great Biafrans, for listening. Kindly share widely. Udo Dirono, Biafra Fest. <laughs>